Hello everyone, today I want to share with you a great news. There has been a major update on the method of installing Google GMS on Huawei phones using Gbox Virtual Machine. Applications that require Google GMS can now run independently outside the virtual machine and directly access the Google GMS, resulting in a very fast speed. The user experience is perfect now. Based on my own user experience, I believe there is no longer a need to install native Google GMS on Huawei phones. Considering that the method for installing native Google GMS is complicated. However, if you insist on installing native Google GMS, you can refer to my previous video where I will provide a link in the video description down below. Okay, let's now take a look at how the latest version of Gbox Google GMS operates and installs on my Huawei phone to get the perfect user experience. Let's go. Okay, now welcome to my Huawei phone. First, let's go to the settings to have a look my system uh, version. Get, click the system and update here, the last one, well, last two. So system and update and click software update to see like that uh, my uh, Huawei phone system is Harmony OS 3 uh, and without the Google GMS. So without the Google GMS, there's no Google GMS installed on my phone. This uh, method, I mean today this method introduces method which are compatible with uh, Harmony OS 3, Harmony OS 2, and EMUI 11, EMUI 12. So all kinds of uh, Huawei phone, no matter what uh, system is, it's all compatible because we are using the Gbox. So using the virtual mo virtual machine Gbox. And the difference is that uh, the Gbox updated its uh, mechanism of using the GMS. So you can see on my desktop, I already installed the Gmail, YouTube, Maps, Photo, Drive, and Google Play YouTube kit. You can find the slightly difference between them. The last two one, you can see there is a small icon, a blue icon on the right uh, bottom of the uh, of the side. So they are purely, I mean, they are purely rely on the Gbox. Click this Gbox. This is a virtual machine. So those two application purely rely on the Gbox. But for others like Gmail, YouTube, Maps, Photo, Drive, Google, they are natively installed applications separately. So when they are, are working, they will um, get, I mean, they all get the uh, GMS, Google GMS from the Gbox, but they can um, independently can work without um, outside the Gbox virtual machine, which means it can give you a more fast speed, more feedback. I mean, more f uh, quick feedback when you click the Gmail YouTube. So the user experience is very, very close to the native GMS. You can even, I mean, you can find no difference between the native GMS and using this method, G this me Gbox method to using the Gmail YouTube. There's no difference. So I mean, there's no need to install the native GMS on your Huawei phone because the Gbox can give you the the real, I mean the real native GMS user experience comparing with the real native GM GMS. So there's no need to install the native GMS because the Gbox can give you this uh, user experience. Okay, so I will click the Gmail. You can see it's very fast. You can click the, uh, open the Gmail and click the, this, uh, your icon. So you, you, I already logged in my your Google account so I can synchronize my Gmail. You can see there's a, oh, uh, a mail said uh, there's a Galaxy S20 logged in because the Gbox will simulate another brand of uh, um, mobile phone model that uh, simulate that using your uh, Google account to, to log into your Google account. So that's why you send, you receive um, email said a Galaxy S20 logged in your Google account. Okay, so then the next one is a YouTube. YouTube also can open perfectly, very quickly. It's a really perfect user experience. There's no need to install the native GMS. And the map, Google map can work perfectly and it can navigate and uh, can locate your position. I already tested and log into your, can log into your Google account here. And the next one is a Google Photo. So Google Photo can uh, synchronize your photos uh, to your Google Drive. Yeah, it can synchronize all the photos on your uh, in your mobile phones very quickly, easily. Okay, and then this uh, Google Drive. Yeah, Google Drive can uh, uh, upload your file. Click this button, upload, and click upload. So it can um, communicate with your real phone directly to upload your file from your Mo Huawei mobile phone. Okay, then this is a Google Play. Click Google Google Play so you can download the Google applications, other applications, all kinds of applications from the Google Play. Yes, and the YouTube Kids. I, I'm using the Google Play, download the YouTube Kids here. You can search for the YouTube Kids and click install. 
from the Google Play. So if you are, if you cannot find the Google Play application here, you can click Gbox and you can uh, here for from my Gbox here. If you can add the quick um, icon, you can see create a shortcut, create a shortcut on your phone. Uh, desktop you will see this uh, icon and it's very uh, free user friendly you can install the application from here okay so they are different very different is because we they can work independently outside the virtual machine okay let's check go to the settings and go to the apps and services and go to the apps so let's have a look search YouTube Y O U two. You can see the YouTube is installed independently, and you can in control the permissions here. Control the permissions independently, like location, media file, camera, contacts. You can control the permission independently because it can work independently outside the virtual machine. And you can like Gmail, the same logic. You can see the Gmail was installed independently here, and go to there and can get to the permissions and click. Uh, give you the related permissions here and you can also uh, change the power usage details here click power usage details click it and you can uh, launching settings to prevent the system killing this uh, gmail in the background which will uh, avoid you receive the messages notifications so you can click launch settings click here and click manage automatically to switch this off and click auto launch and uh, secondary launch and uh, running background after that then you can get the notification of new email and uh, synchronize in your background and the system and the system will not uh, kill your um, gmail in the background so this is a very tricky thing so you can setting like this for the other applications okay next i will show you step by step how to install this newly uh, version of the google gbox which support independently install those uh, google's applications okay first i will uninstall gbox here i click this gbox and uninstall click the uninstall this click uninstall so you can see i already uninstalled this uh, gbox from this app uh, from my desktop and you can see other two applications the google play and uh, the uh, youtube kids they are also disappeared because they really um, rely on superiorly so rely on the gbox and uh, for other uh, gmail youtube maps photo and drive they can work independently so they are not disappeared that's the uh, new update i mean this new method why it's a uh, very very user friendly and very very perfect perfect user experience is uh, very near to the native GMS okay so next I will uninstall the Gmail and to make my phone on the same condition with you so you can uh, follow my step by step to install this uh, Google GMS you can uh, uh, this method is perfectly for the Huawei phones and all kind of Huawei phones including the pad and the, and the mobile phones the Nova series the mate pad mate series and the p40 p50 p60 series or they can be compatible okay then I already uh, uninstalled all these uh, related Google virtual box uh, applications then let's go to the browser so my phone condition now is the same as yours my phone without a Google GMS everything is uh, uh, the same with yours so next we will step by step and show you how to install the gbox google gms okay let's go to the browser and open this uh, uh, web address the web address is gboxlab.com i will put the web link down below this web description for you to click and download the gbox from the official website okay let's find open this web link and click free download and the latest version is uh, july 7th okay the problem is click free download click it you can use click here download here download so you will see the download status here please be patient and uh, after finish the download it will open installation automatically click allow and uh, click on understand and click install to install the uh, gbox and uh, key in your uh, screen lock password click okay so my screen password okay let's go back so you can see the gbox already installed it's very easy right then let's have a look click the gbox and open click i agree and uh, here there we will check uh, notification please enable necessary permi permissions okay so no problem let's check click this one check and go to battery optimization whitelist enable disable and uh, require permissions enable and allowed okay perfect let's go back and here 
you will see step one, some introductions. Welcome to the user guide. We click next, 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 some user guide, and step done. A G Google Play Store is already in the G box. Then we can create shortcuts. You can long time click, long time click, and here you will see create a shortcut. I show you again, long time, click press here and click create a shortcut. And you will see you try to add it to the launcher. If the, have a look, there's no cre shortcut created here because the Gbox have no these uh, necessary authorities um, permissions. So we needed to give the Gbox the permissions. We click the Gbox and swipe up here from here, swipe up and here, long time click here, long time click the Gbox icon here, long time click and you will get uh, into the permission settings. We go to the permissions and go to the uh, scroll down and you will see create screen home sh screen um, home screen cre create home screen shortcut here. Click create home screen shortcut and give this uh, allow, give this um, authorities, okay, permissions. Or, or you can go to the settings and go to apps and services and go to the apps, you can search here, Gbox here, and you can also get into the permission setting here, permissions, and go to the uh, create home screen shortcut. You can turn down below, you can give other necessary um, permissions here. For example, if you want to use Google Map, you can give the location permission and uh, allow while in use, give some necessary permissions for this GG box. Okay, so how can we install, I mean, the native, I mean, the like native applications to use GBox? Let's, this is very easy, right? Okay, then we go to the browser and click here, three line on the right top, here, click three line and go to the app availability app availability then you can install those uh, native applications for your google for for your phone yeah and the user experience is even better yes let's go to here you can see the youtube we'll click youtube and uh, you can click download to download the native applications of youtube click download and it will download it please be patient okay finish the download and click allow and uh, click install. So you will install the Google YouTube. Let's go back and see YouTube already there. So, and we go back to Gbox. How about we create the uh, Google Play, install the application from Google Play Store. Let's have a look. Long time press and create shortcut and click add. Here you will see the Google Play is already there. Then we click Google Play to log in to our Google account. Here, you can see uh, sign in. Here, click sign in. Okay, so then key your Google account. Okay, we, after keying the account, click next. Then key your password, then click next. Okay, click I agree. Okay, perfect. Now we already logged into your Google account and go back and we will go to the YouTube, have a look if the uh, account already synchronized, uh, also automatically logged in. Click YouTube. Okay, perfect. We already logged into the YouTube and click the, this button here. You can see my account already automatically logged in with the YouTube. So, okay, go back. So when you first time open the YouTube, it will may take more time. But when you second time open YouTube, it is very fast. Yes. Okay, then we go back to the Google Play and uh, we can uh, install other applications from this uh, like UIT kits. Yeah, UIT kits. Search it and uh, click install. Then you can uh, using the um, Google Play to uh, install the, uh, your applications you want here. Yeah, after finish installation, it means you can add the shortcut here. You click add the shortcut here, you can see. So we um, installed the application from Google Play. You will see this icon here, the blue icon the right bottom side here. So which means you uh, install from the Google um, Play Store, purely rely on the Gbox. Okay, so we can click YouTube, YouTube Kids. You can play uh, YouTube Kids. Yeah, very easy to use that. And uh, for other uh, native applications to install, you can, you can still go back to the browser. Yeah, go to the browser and uh, here go back to find other native um, applications like Gmail, click the Gmail and click download, click here, download and click allow and click install. 
and click done and go back go back so search for other applications from this gbox official website to get to get the um, best user experience applications which can w work independently outside the, the gbox so its efficiency is very fast yes and the google google map and the google drive all the uh, related applications you can find from the uh, gbox official website so you can see after I installed the Gmail is on my desktop and without icon can without this blue icon which means it can work independently um, outside the Gbox and it is faster than purely rely on the Gbox okay and then I click the G Gmail and it will automatically sync my um, email okay so you click got it and my account already there and it take me to the Gmail yeah and got it okay let's go back to my uh, desktop if you want to get a perfect user experience then i recommend you install um, the uh, native app from the browser from the uh, Box official website and find the necessary find the uh, apps from this uh, Gbox official website to get the perfect user experience and uh, if if you can't find the necessary i mean applications from Gbox official website then you can go to the google play here go to the google play to find and uh, install the application from the google play and you can also open the gbox and find uh, here um it, it give you pop-up me set method setting go to the settings and give the authorities of the um add the screenshot shortcuts it will automatically give you this uh, um, link from here go back so if you can't find the g um, google play shortcut you can long time click google play shortcut and create a shortcut or you can long time click this icon and click download click download and it will uh, link you to the google play store and you can click this uh, search button here you can search or you can go back to the home screen and here you will find a search bar here and you can find the necessary application from the google play um, installed and from the google play installed application has a blue icon on the top on the, on the bottom right side here Okay, so if you like my sharing, don't forget to thumb up and see you next time. Bye-bye.